Sucks being a good dude in a generation full of girls who don't even appreciate it. I'm lonely. Hello everybody, welcome back to r slash nice guys. Now before we get into that lovely content that you all know and love, be sure to like the video, comment down below what you like about the video during the video, and afterwards consider subscribing to the channel and turning on them notifications. Alright, let's get right into that lovely content. Let's go! Our culture has become so anti-child and anti-suffering that many women no longer want to sacrifice themselves for bearing and raising children. They only want to seek what they think is is best for them, thus they miss out on what truly is best. Don't forget wind up cat ladies and eventually accept the sobering fact that it was all their own fault and that they should have married the nice guy they loathed for being square and never should have jumped on the Chad Tyrone carousel. The end. He was a bit of a misogynistic racist tee hee. Such a bad boy. Girls like that sort of thing. Oh yeah, nothing gets me hotter than a bigot who thinks I'm genetically inferior because of what's between my legs. Edit, oh my god, I read your profile and you're serious, lol. Depends on if he's alpha or not, to be fair. Okay, to be fair, if you use the phrases Chad, Alpha, or Beta, you got the mental capacity of a lemon. Women talk too much about gosh darn standards. Unless you're my grandma of this name, the rest of you ain't st anything without your thick thighs and big butts all the time. Bunch of adultery committing greedy, selfish, money-hungry, friend-zoning, good guy creatures. Oh yeah, that's how you get the ladies there. Saying hi doesn't work, being friendly doesn't work, making a joke doesn't work, nagging doesn't work. Good that I never text girls, because I don't want to end up like a nice Nice guy meme on a Reddit. Hee <laughs> hee. Doesn't text girls still becomes a nice guy meme. Boy, you thought. Don't complain about being single if you never talk to anybody. That's just the main issue there. You don't do jack. Hmm, maybe my approach towards women has been all wrong. I'm going to start lying to them with wrong names and tell them I got four baby mamas, six prior convictions, oh, and I'm abusive, lol, hashtag fight me. No one's gonna believe you have four baby mamas. Pending paternity tests, lol. Okay, but that would imply you actually got with somebody in the first place. You stupid barch, happily taken? Yeah, right, all I've done is be nice to you and you repay me with getting into a relationship with someone? Why can't girls go for us nice guys? Your boyfriend will just use you for your body? You're a freaking slut! And who will lead me on? Can you leave me and my boyfriend alone? We are happy and stop making accounts to contact me, please. I don't know if there's any way to really IP block him, but I would definitely get I'll get this sent around to try to get people to go against him. Hi, I'm the lonely nerd sitting in the corner of the high school gym at all the dances. I'm the outcast, the geek, the one you'd call your best friend while you date douchebag bud wipes that treats you like crap. The nice guy that lets you cry on his shoulder because Johnny Jockstrap hurts you. I'm the guy girls always describe as the kind soul who'd do anything in my power to make sure you're happy because that's the only thing that matters to me. Is you. If that's what you're looking for, then message me. You just gotta love those nice guy Tinder profiles. They're just absolute gold and thank you for my voice for being messed up because, you know, seasons change and allergy stuff so I can make that voice. I just want to be laid up with a shorty, but y'all like to be abused and I ain't with that shot. Yeah, but you posted it on Snapchat thinking it would be effective. Ah, oh good. I just state things how I see them. So do I, to be honest, but I'm a little over the top with stating slash describing. You know better eventually. Anyway, I don't think you're very compatible for me. I hope you find someone suitable. That's the same thing the past robots have told me, so I guess you're a bot too, huh? Bots as in girls looking for sugar daddies. LMFAO, y'all a bunch of freaking hoes. I'd shop abusing the good guys. I'm gonna report your profile. Why? I don't see a connection and I would rather say so than lead you on. Okay, look dude, if you're getting turned down by the dating app bots, then uh, I'm just gonna say it ain't looking good for you, chief. And maybe a good ground basis for relationships is trying to find something that you have in common, which, uh, you know, you had none of, but you still persisted, you know. Why like another one of his posts? This is not like you. You don't like or retweet any guy stuff. Are you flirting with him on the TL? Or maybe, maybe he's already in your DMs. I have to save you, but I can't. You can't know that I know. Why why always the frick boys and never me? Oh boo hoo, what do you want a cookie? Hey, what are you up to? How's the messing around been? LOL. Answer me barch bud mofo skank clint wholesome person scunt nut dumpster chicken queen mother fricker. <sighs> Give me a second here, that just took all the censoring out of me. Hashtag nice guy. Yeah I am. Oh, I forgot one. Wholesome person. I can't spell. Maybe next time you'll respond to me advances. Until then, I'm the one who got away. Peace. Well, the trash took itself out, ain't that nice? I'll have to say, that is the first time somebody has actually been proud of being called a nice guy. I, I honestly don't think they got it. None of girls pay any attention to me. Why? When I walk down the street, I see many beautiful girls and I stare at them, but these girls are not staring back and I don't know why. 
That means girls hate me? I even smiled once when I stared at a girl and she ignored me. Why? I'm a beautiful guy and I can't get a girlfriend. I never had a female friends too. When I try to make female friends, they reject me and ignore me. That's not normal. That's discrimination. Because I'm such a nice person. Just why girls are not attracted to me? I'm 18 next month and I'm still a kissless virgin. I'm not fat or a skinny skeleton. I'm athletic. My body stats 5 foot 11 and 135 pounds and girls are not attracted to me. That's a big problem, but I'm not going to give up. Now see, the real sad part is if he focused that whole not giving up mentality on something actually productive or beneficial to himself, he could do really well in life. What a smile. Shallowness is such an ugly trait. Good luck and God bless. You are one of the 200 guys I have in my inbox. I would need to make it my full-time job in order to reply to everyone. There is a reason you messaged me and it probably wasn't due to my dazzling personality. Check yourself, man. Hey, if you think being shallow and lazy is a good thing, you do you. LOL. Could explain why you're on plenty of fish, though. Yeah, well, what is your excuse, you useless cabbage? Why can't I find a nice, handsome, respectful man? I can be there for you. You want to go on a date? Want to frick you look fit, suck my dong. That's no way to treat a woman. Bye, man. I need someone to please me. I guess I'll just focus on my career. 20 years later. Why can't I find a good man? Man, you took too long to settle down. Meanwhile, I studied hard, landed a great job, made tons of money, invested in profitable businesses, and found a woman who appreciates me. I'm now expecting my third child with my wife, and I couldn't have done it if you hadn't ditched me in that one time at uni. I know I say a lot of times for people to focus on themselves and improve themselves to make themselves a better person, but don't do it for the sake of shoving it in somebody's face years later. And yeah, I know the whole thing about the whole high school reunion, just being able to show off saying, haha, I did so well, but that's honestly more so towards the bullies who made fun of you. What I imply whenever I say the whole go to the high school reunion thing, it's basically meaning that the bullies never got to you nor phased you, because the only thing better than retaliating back is making it seem like they never had an impact at all. I want a boy best friend, but dudes be too horny for that. Hey, there's dead by no perks for being a boy best friend. Shorty don't help you get any kitty, and all they do is complain about their dude and tell you how they cheat. And then they expect you to do everything for their dude won't do for her. I'm good. Why did you message me? So you know who you're talking to, and you can be friends with me, and also trust me too. I'm actually one of those rare, nice guys you don't hear about because of those disgusting pig guys out there. I'm very sorry, but I'm not interested. We can't be friends? You're so much older than me, so no. God, I can't even make friends? Darn, but I do respect you. So I guess you're blocking me? You're older than my dad, even. My god, I never ask you for a relationship other than just friends. It's not illegal to have friends, but whatever. Then why don't you make friends your own age? You shouldn't lie about your age. Dude, you are 45. Okay, nice boomer. Been in bed for three weeks straight. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, thank you. Scoot you over. I'll come give you a snuggle and we can chat. Haha. -ha. Nah. I mean, I was just kidding. I didn't mean it literally. I know you're heartbroken, but don't push away people that care. Don't make things worse for yourself. You don't even know me. Piss off. You ever heard of kindness of a stranger? There are decent people left in the world, believe it or not. Not that I care anyway. Haven't got time for negativity in my life. Enjoy your sad little existence, being in bed for three weeks straight, crying over a boy. Pathetic. You know, for somebody who doesn't care, you seem to care at least a little bit to message somebody that they don't know you and ask to cuddle. It had to have been one of those things that worked out better in your head, but you know, you failed on execution. Brad, 39, sweet, caring, down-to-earth, nice, always finished last, hence why I'm single. Nope. You sent me a friend request. I accept it. I start liking most of your posts, but you know like even a single post of mine. Why did you send me a friend request then? P.S. Story of most friend requests I get from girls. I'm sorry, did I miss something? Was there supposed to be some kind of economic trade in this? Like, hey, myth, I like ya, I like your photos, show me your badongas. Are you looking for a single man that doesn't have any kids? Are you looking for someone to treat you like a lady? Are you looking for someone to take you out to nice places or stay in with you and cuddle? Someone with a goofy sense of humor and is a bit nerdy? Someone that loves animals? Then swipe right. I hate chatting on here, so if we match, I'm asking you out. If I don't get a reply after two days, I'm unmatching you. I don't appreciate my time being wasted like that. Well, that would imply that that wonderful bio of yours gets you a match in the first place. Are you the type of girl that dates F-boys, pretty boys, and just fall for the trick and end up hurt and just do it all over again and you tell yourself, I want the right guy, but just make the same mistake over and over again and say that all guys are the same? Well, you haven't tried a chubby guy before, so what are you 
you waiting for to try something new, something better, someone that will treat you the right way. Swipe right if you want to be happy and don't want to end up hurt like you always do. Yeah, you know, that's the perfect way to get somebody to fall for you. Point out their flaws. LMAO, breaking news. Study shows women have happier relationships when their partners aren't massive douchebags. You choose to be with the douchebags every 99% of the time. There are some things even spellcheck won't fix. Actually, my exes are great people with the exception of one, but thanks for your concern. Don't be hateful just because a girl isn't interested. We all have to deal with rejection. Some do it more gracefully than others. Girls don't deal with rejection for the most part, though. Men, do you guys just pick and choose who you want from the men chasing you? Okay, and with that, that is going to have to be it for the video. If you would like what you have seen, be sure to like the video, comment down below what you liked about the video, and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.